All right, if you remember about a month and a half ago, I told you about this right here. The story of the I-64 Sports All-Girls Flag Football League. The first of its kind in Hampton Roads. They play a batch of games once a month at the Ghent School. And today was one of those days. I gotta be honest, this was so much fun. Let's check out these highlights. Out to the field we go for Team House versus Gridiron Queens. Scoreless at the half, but it got good down the stretch. Team House, a huge catch in traffic. Some beautiful stuff there. Gridiron Queens would respond on offense themselves. Quarterback holding the ball, pitching it off to the running back. Little juke move, and they get in for the touchdown. 6 nothing. but Team House would respond on defense. The little Hail Mary pass, a huge interception, and you might think she goes all the way. The 40, the, the 30, they pull the flag off. They would tie the game in the ensuing possession, but the last play of the game, this is where it all comes down. Gridiron Queens win it on the run. Listen, this league has grown so much since we last talked about it. More teams, more age groups, but the best of all, I-64 Sports has signed with the NFL Flag Football League, and the founder of I-64 is so pumped to see such incredible growth. So I actually talked to the NFL Flag people during a uh, camp they had at Norfolk State um, last month. So I spoke with them. We had a lot of our girls that participated in the camp. Um, so we just talked about just expanding what's going on in the area as far as girls flag football. Ended up having a meeting with them last week, and it just, you know, we talked about adding an all-girls flag league under the NFL flag brand. It means a lot. It means great. We just talk about expanding, which we talked about the first time, like how we want things to grow. And it's just cool to have the NFL uh, flag in this area and just partner with us for, you know, a great league for the girls.